another classroom in motion. Today I want to talk to you about sinners. I spent the day in the dollar store, found wonderful things that you can use to make great sinners. Some of the items were purchased on really good stuff, and some of them was purchased right at the Dollar Tree and the Teaching Tree. Really cool. I spent the day there with a couple of friends, and boy, did we have fun finding all of these great things. So let's talk about it. There are going to be times where you're going to have to use small group instruction. While you're doing small group instruction, there will be opportunities for students to work independently. You want to create opportunities to work independently using contained activities that are engaging. And remember, small group instruction, students working independently, is not deficit-based. Your centers are based on what students know. Your centers should provide rigor. When I talk about rigor, I mean, if a student understands main idea, then give them two steps to finding the main idea in a process. In other words, if I want the students to look for main idea, I may give them one passage, and they're very capable of doing that. But what if I gave them multiple passages from different types of reading, informational text, historical, and fiction? There you see you have multiple steps to the students finding the main idea because they will have to compare and contrast the main ideas after they find them and identify supporting details. Centers. I love these totes because they're stackable and they're small enough to fit on a table. Also, when you're doing your center, what you want to place in the center are the managing tools. So let's say for the sake of this segment, we have a center and we want the students to be able to go to the center and function independently knowing what each student is responsible for doing in the group. I love these cards. There's one that says announcer, score, coach, manager, and recorder. What's great about these is that on the back, it gives the students specific instructions about their responsibility. Love that. You may want the students to also consider time as they go through discussion. I love these hourglasses. These are for one minute. So when it goes into the box, each student has one minute to respond. When you are creating your centers, you need to identify what the activity is. I love using the index cards. On the index card, I put the name of the center and the instructions for the activity. That's why these clear totes are so wonderful because you can place it on the inside and seal it. And when you stack it, not only do you know what's in this center, but so does your students. Another great idea for having